Hello everyone, welcome back to Talking with Auntie Sham. Today I will be making some boil and fry cassava, boil and fry breadfruit, some catfish curry, and some dumpling. Also, we guys call it dog. So here are my ingredients that I am going to use. I have here my catfish my mangoes my okos i have my grind up seasoning onion garlic pepper fine leaf thyme broad leaf thyme madman pork celery and some bandana i also have some tomatoes there i have some chip up green onions also known as shallot and some celery also i have two seasoned peppers that i will add into it at the end there i have also all my masala and curry powder that i will be using i have some raw jeera curry powder bay leaf some turmeric some duck and goat masala some grind jeera also some hot chili flakes for the dumpling i have there my flour also, I have one and a half teaspoon baking powder. I have a half a tablespoon sugar and salt to taste. I also have one tablespoon of butter and water to mix. So here I have my oil to chunk in my curry. And I have my cassava already there to boil. Also, I have my bread through there. I already add salt to both of them. So I am now going to add my jeera to fry. So here I am adding in my grind up seasoning to fry. I will allow it to, to fry for like about four to five minutes. I am now adding in my masala to bunji there. And again, I will allow this to fry for like another three minutes to four minutes because it's not plenty. If it's plenty well then we have I have to fry it for longer I'm adding in some water for the masala to cook further So as you can see my masala was cooking there for like for the past five minutes and as you can see the oil is coming up back to the top and that's an indication that it's properly fried and you also can see that the color changed from a lighter color into a darker color i am now going to add the pieces of catfish I'm going to add some tomatoes now. I like to do this. I like to put the tomato two times. Now to bunge with the fish and at the end. And I'm going to add my sauce here. I'm going to use it a good mix allow the fish to be coated into the lovely masala and you can see how lovely the color of the masala is and the smell of the kitchen is 
so amazing. Makes me get more hungry. So I will lower the stove, the heat, and like to a halfway. My stove don't have the indicator to say like how much. And um, I will cover this and allow it to bungee. It will release its own natural waters. And when it dry up back, then I'll be adding the rest of my ingredients. So friends, this is like after 10 minutes, my curry has been bungee in here. And again, as you can see that the oil is coming up back to the top and the fish is nice and it didn't break. So, um, I went ahead and add my okra. And now adding my mangoes. I'm going to add some of my chips. Shallow and celery, my seasoned and we review pepper for additional flavor. A few pieces of tomato more at the top. And I am now going to add some water. I want this with a little bit of gravy so that I can soak it up in the dumpling or the dough as we got in the toilet. So this will have a little gravy when it's finished. And my breadfruit is finished. As you can see it's soft and nice so I'm going to take that now out of the water and here my cassava is still boiling so friends my catfish curry finished cooking here And I am now going to mix the flour for the dumpling. It's two kinds of flour I have there, whole wheat and uh, all-purpose. I'm going to add the sugar, salt, and baking powder into it. Also my butter. And now I'm going to mix it so after finish mixing it I will roll it out into little balls and then I will roll it out into the shape of the dumplings or the duff as we call it. So friends I went ahead and I roll off my dumplings and this is finished. See how nice and light they floated up to the top and also this is my boiled cassava. I'm going to chunk it just now or fry it up so here I also have my oil on to fry my dumplings so I am going to like take it out from the pot and into the pan
So here you have it, friends. My catfish curry. My dumpling, also called off by Guyanese. And my boil and fry cassava. And bird fruit. Finished cooking. I do hope you enjoy watching my video. And please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. See you all in upcoming videos. Love you all. Bye-bye.